Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here, this is the question. A 32 years old lady is admitted with witness visual disturbance and periorbital pain. On examination, he is noted to have mydriasis and diminished direct response to the light shown into the affected eye. The consensual response is preserved when light is shown into the unaffected eye which of the cranial nerve listed below is responsible for the diminished direct response so it is one of the large question first of all we have to find out the main point from the question first of all we can see the patient is diminished direct response to the light and consensual response is preserved so which cranial nerve is responsible for diminished direct response so that means which is the function of diminished direct light responses here the options options are abducens oculomotor nerve optic nerve trisimidal nerve and hypoglossal nerve so we have to find out one of the nerve which is responsible for direct light responses we know that there are two types of uh, reflexes or two types of responses. One is the direct, another one is the consensual. So, first of all, let's see the light pathway. Here we can see this is a light, and this light is shown on the cornea and it reflects on the retina and it produces a electric signal. And this signal is comes and finally reaches into the visual cortex. Here we can see this is the visual cortex and from the visual cortex the two nerve arises one is going to the same eye and another one is going to the another eye so when the light is placed in one eye finally when it get imaged and the light responses then accommodation during accommodation reflex the two reflex goes to the both eye so light in the one eye it causes accommodation in two eyes and here we can see two nerve is responsible one is the optic nerve this nerve and another one is the oculomotor nerve so this is the normal pathway light rays on the eye then optic nerve from optic nerve to optic chiasma, then optic tract and detectal nucleus, adhesion whisper nucleus and ciliary ganglia and short ciliary nerve and contraction of the constricted pupilla of the uh, pupil of the eye and it causes constriction of the pupil. So now see this is another image it is very very clear that the light it goes to the retina and the signal goes here to the visual cortex and from the visual cortex two signal arises one is the same eye another one is the rest eye so if the optic nerve here it is damaged is optic nerve is damaged then light cannot pass to the visual cortex so there is no direct light reflex that means this pathway and there is no consensual light reflex to the other eye so both will be lost but when the optic nerve is damaged then when light in the another eye light goes to the visual cortex and from the visual cortex it goes on the both eye so during optic nerve damage direct light reflex will be lost but the consensual light reflex will be preserved that means when light fall into another eye the damaged eye also constrict so our answer is now ready this is the optic nerve in case of optic nerve direct response is diminished but consensual res response is preserved so in case of optic nerve direct response will be damaged or diminished but consensual light reflex will be present thank you all